Welcome to 321 Photoshop, I'm Julianne Cost. First, to transform the background, click on the lock icon in order to convert it to a layer. Then, if you want to display the transformation controls at all times, select the Move tool and enable Show Transform Controls. By default, dragging on any of the anchor points transforms the contents of the layer proportionally. Click the Link icon in order to transform freely, or in either instance, linked or unlinked, adding the Shift key will toggle the behavior. To cancel a transformation, tap the Escape key, and if you find the transformation controls too distracting, you can always disable the options. Now to transform multiple layers at once, I'll place them into a group by using Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows, then use Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows in order to select Free Transform. Holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows enables transforming from the center. Positioning the cursor just outside of the transformation handles allows rotation, while adding the Shift key will snap to 15 degree increments. To change the location around which a transformation occurs, enable the reference point and either select from one of the nine different reference points or simply click and drag the reference point in the image to transform and rotate around that point. To zero out the rotation, you can always use the options bar. Control click on Mac or right click within the transformation bounding box to choose a different transformation option from the context sensitive menu. Use Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows to undo the last transformation and tap Return or Enter to apply the transformation. Finally, when working with layers that extend beyond the canvas, first use Command T on Mac, Control T on Windows to enter free transform, then use Command Zero on Mac, Control Zero on Windows in order to have Photoshop automatically zoom out and fit the transformation handles on screen.